I did that again. I'm still working on Victoria's ring. Um, the next step we talked about was to bring the these two ends together close enough so that we can um, file it and, and shape it and, and prep it for soldering. So there's a couple of tools I like to use is is my go-to hammer. Um, I've already got pretty much the basic shape, so that all I need to do is kind of bring these ends down so they're more closer together, and then bring them in. So that at least the 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 the, the, the part is flat enough where we can we can align it and, and close it. And if I need to use some uh, flat nose pliers again, and okay. I can still probably take off another little piece and and make it a little bit more tighter around. So I'm gonna I'm gonna remove a little bit more. I'll, I'm gonna remove it from this side because I I I, I want the 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 this the solder point kind of on on its side. So I'm gonna take another chunk off of this one, nice and flat. I think it would be in there. Anyway, I can't see it with the glasses on. And I'll take a little chunk off of this. No, I'll just file that. Okay, I'll want to get my shoulders clamped. So I can hold it. And I can file these edges flat. Let me flip it. Remember the little bezel I was telling you about? I mean, not the bezel, the the little edge that creates the the, the, the knife edge of the of the shears uh, does compress the the edges, brings them in a little bit. So you want to get some of that out, um, or at least minimize that. Uh, some of it will be covered up. I, I, like I said, when we solder, it becomes like a little solder weld, a well. You know, like a well, a deep well that holds water, but this is a solder well that gets filled up with solder. Um, so that was pretty close. Um, this way, come back, do a little more hammering. Hammer it down. Oops. I don't know what I dropped in there. I'm always dropping stuff in there. 
and then I, I, I don't know what it is until I, I need it again. And then, then I go looking for it. So I, I don't know what to drop in there, but something went in there. I'm hoping it was a, a cut piece or something. But these are getting pretty close. Oops. And like I said, I'm not really con concerned about the overall concentric shape that it is right now because once I get soldered, it, then it'll be soft and I can, I can sh reshape it into the, the configuration using some other steps. I just want to get these two edges close uh, because it's heavy wire, it's, it is real hard to work with because it will work hard on me. Um, so let me go uh, anneal this. Oh, I got my torch off. But anyway, let me look at it again, see how it's coming. And so it, it, it's fitting pretty good on stone when you look at it like this. The stone fits on it and co covers the silver pretty much. Let me see if I can bring that closer. Okay, so you can see how the stone, and I, I can't take some more off, but I think that that's good because I'm going to flatten it, and, and, and it doesn't matter how... Uh, as long as the inner circle of of this um, of of the piece the, the 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 seat is well inside the, the the of the stone, when I hammer it down, it will it'll expand inward and it'll expand outward as just as much. So it'll, it'll be able to uh, allow me to make the seats. It's just that when you start to hammer it, it gets the the, the that inner circle does get wider because the whole material stretches and expands so i i, I do want it inside th th that so when i hammer it because i know i'm going to be hammering a lot of it um to get it flat uh, so i may take a little bit more material you can see where it kind of sticks out when i look at the back end I, I i don't i don't see that being too much of a problem okay as I do the, the this other side. So what I want to do is I want to take a little bit more material, probably uh, probably on, on this side here, because uh, I got more more of it to, to work with, and then try to bring those two edges together. Okay, I'm gonna take it off this side. And so that I can, because uh, I have a little bit more on here. All right, let me do that. You want to be careful um, not to put any portion of your, your finger or your skin in between the blades because uh, you, you'll see, I mean, you can see what, what would happen. Uh, but but I try to hold and, and retain it so that after it's cut, this little piece of silver does not flick someplace, you know, and, 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 and where I never find it until I end up vacuuming it. I vacuum it up or something like that. So I can save it and I can use it for scrap silver later. Put it in there. Okay, so now again I gotta I gotta flatten that out. Um, with a, with a with the file. Oh, that's what fell. The file. Put it back in there.
That was the ring. It fell off the mandrel. So if <laughs> you probably saw it over time, if we look at the video, it creeping down from where it was and eventually falling off. When I hammer on my bench, um, things move in different directions all the time. So I'm always trying to figure out what it is to drop and do I need it? Uh, but usually like that file, it fell. I didn't need it, but when I went to look for it, then I realized that's that's what it, what it was. So this is pretty good. Uh, I got the two edges close. Uh, I believe that they are touching. Uh, not they're not all the way around, but because of that, it'll it'll create a nice um, uh, soldering well around. I just want to make sure that the the ends are indeed touching. Remember we talked about earlier when you when you when you make the in, in a circle when when you force the metal down you're essentially forcing it down in in that way so it, it compresses up against the other metal and this this is good I could see some gap but but I can but the two pieces of metal are touching and hold, holding hands and ready to go now we, we took some more metal off so I want to look at it and see. Is that a better fit? You can see now how that sits in there real nice within the stone. If I put this on here like this and put that on there, you can see that it, 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 it on this side it's really nice. And then on the other side where I'm gonna do the soldering, um, you can see that the stone fits on there really nice. And, and, and let me get it lined up the right. And so I'll be able to just hammer this down once it's soldered, hammer it down into a nice flat round seat that's going to be wider than what it is right now. Uh, but it's going to expand, get bigger, but it's going to expand inward on the inside and it's going to expand outwards and, and on the outer sides. Um, the, the, at some point in time, then uh when you begin to like flatten out the the, the sides it, it will expand it you know, longitudinally as well as as horizontally and so you you got to just kind of keep in mind what it is that you want to try to achieve um i got enough metal there to, to flatten and it's going to give me a nice seat and we'll we'll do that on the next batch but first i got to solder that and we'll do that next <laughs> 